Hello. I'm happy to present our newly published paper with titled Ocular Microbiota Types and Longitudinal Microbiota Alterations in Patients with Chronic Dacryocystitis with and without antibiotic pretreatment. Chronic dacryocystitis in short DC is caused by an obstruction of the nasolacrimal duct leading to accumulation of tear fluid in the lacrimal sac and secondary bacterial infection. ENDCR is a surgery that creates a new path for tears to drain between the eyes and nose. Preoperative antibiotics are often used to treat DC, especially levofloxin pretreatment. Our study is a prospective clinical cohort study. We collected ocular and nasal microbiota samples at different times after ENDCR treatment. We also collected microbiota samples healthy controls and patients with other ocular disorders. We have made the observations to compare the relationship between the use of the preoperative antibiotics and the microbiota distribution and clinical recovery after surgery. By analyzing the microbiota data according to the alpha and beta diversity analysis, there were significant differences between the disease groups and healthy controls. The common bacteria genera were found with varying abundance in different diseases. Furthermore, we have observed two types of ocular microbiota. As you can see, ocular microbiota tended to form two clusters according to the beta diversity analysis. Also type 1 and type 2 ocular microbiota contains different abundance of the top genus of the bacteria. We found two ocular microbiota types and three nasal microbiota types. The distribution of the types are quite similar among all the groups with a slightly higher prevalence of type 1 among DC patients than healthy participants. By the fourth week after ENDCR, clinical examination revealed no symptoms of lacrimation or ocular discharge from DC patients either with or without antibiotic pretreatment. In this case, we think antibiotic pretreatment will not affect the recovery of DC patients after treatment. In addition, we follow the changes in the bacterial abundance in the longitudinal samples between the groups with or without antibiotic pretreatment. The alteration tendencies of bacteria, such as Acinetobacter, were opposite in the DC patients with and without antibiotic pretreatment, while alteration tendencies of bacteria such as Fingermonas were similar. Furthermore, when we compared ocular microbiota data at the fourth week after treatment with the control group, significantly increased microbial community diversity was observed in the DC patients with antibiotic pretreatment. This holds truth with both alpha and beta diversity analysis. However, the groups without antibiotic pretreatment seem differ with the control group. From our study, we have the following conclusion. Firstly, different eye diseases have different ocular microbiota. Secondly, two types of ocular microbiota and three types of nasal microbiota were demonstrated among ocular diseases patients. Lastly and importantly, although clinical recovery is comparable, the antibiotic pretreatment significantly changed the ocular microbiota at the fourth week after ENDCR. All these suggested the antibiotic is not needed for recovery from the surgery.